thank you for joining us. This is Inside NHS, where we will bring you news from around the world, New Hampshire, and from right here on the campus of New Hampton School. In news around New Hampshire, two hikers are found safe after getting lost while hiking on Mount Pierce Saturday. Mount Pierce is located in Beans Purchase in Coos County. The hikers lost their trail near the summit of the mountain. New Hampshire Fish and Game officers were called for help just before 3 p.m. to join the rescue crews. Officers continued to provide instruction for the two hikers and help them get rescued. The hikers were finally found without harm about 11 p.m. near the summit of Beans Grant. Police were called to a mobile gas station on Farmington Road in Rochester at 7.15 p.m. on Saturday morning. Officers say two men took cash from the register while the clerk was helping other customers. Rochester police are looking for a man who is described as white between the ages of 18 and 25 years old and about 5 foot 11. He was last seen wearing a black sweatshirt with a light colored stripes on the arms, gray pants, and a black Chicago Bulls baseball cap with a flat brim. If you have any information, please notify the Rochester, New Hampshire Police Department. In Durham, New Hampshire, a UNA student is among five New England students and 34 nationwide awarded a grant to work at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Allison Wood of Tuftonboro was awarded the EPA's Greater Research Opportunities Fellowship Program. The program provides students with a paid internship at an EPA facility working with scientists in their field. The award provides up to $25,700 a year of academic support along with the internship. Previous award winners have gone on to become government researchers, engineers, university professors, and science teachers. The City Council in Keene has rejected a permit for the annual Pumpkin Festival after alcohol-fueled violence last year led to injuries, property damage, and more than 100 arrests. The Council voted 13 to 1 Thursday night not to grant the license. The festival has been a family-friendly event for more than 20 years where participants tried to set the record for most carved and lit jack-o'-lanterns. Last year, police in riot gear used tear gas and pepper balls to control crowds that reached up to 2,000 people near Keene State College. More than 170 students were disciplined. The nonprofit group running the festival, Let It Shine, wanted the city to develop a security plan for the festival. The, that security plan was an estimated to cost more than $300,000, but it was never passed. Back on the campus of Husky Nation, we are having a blood drive Friday, April 17th from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Sign-ups are, are in the small side of the calf during lunch. Guys and gals, get ready because prom is coming. Dressers Unlimited will be on campus Friday to provide men's attire for those seniors and juniors attending. Men, just show up and you can choose your tuxes and for prom and get them properly fitted to make you your most fabulous. Girls, sadly, no service exists for you, so make sure to order your attire soon, soon to leave time for delivery. For those of you not yet confirmed, still show up and perhaps set one aside in case of a later change of mind. Husky Athletics have plenty of games this week. Make sure you come out and support our teams for all the home games. On Wednesday, JV Men's Tennis is playing Holderness at 1.30. Women's Varsity Tennis is playing Proctor Academy at 2.30. Women's Varsity Lacrosse is playing KUA at 3 p.m. Women's JV Tennis is playing the Whittington School at 3.30. Men's Varsity Tennis is playing Brewster at 3.30. Women's Varsity Softball is playing Phillips Exeter Academy at 2.30. On Friday, when varsity base, on Friday, men's varsity baseball is playing Proctor at 4.30. On Saturday, men's JV tennis is playing the Cardigan Mountain School at 1.30. Men's JV lacrosse is playing Brewster Academy at 2.30. Women's varsity tennis is playing at Tilton at 3 p.m. Men's varsity lacrosse is playing Brewster at 4 p.m. And that's it for upcoming sports on campus. See you next time. This week, we have had nine fabulous birthdays on campus. On the 8th is Rhea Hardcastle, Selena Beswick, Leo Strollhumber. On the 9th is Jill Adams, Tyler Lydon, Max Rothschild. On the 12th is Yon Min Yu, Dylan Wagner, and Eli Curry. Happy birthday, Huskies. I hope everything, I hope everything, everybody has a great day. I'm Morgan Barlow with birthdays. Today was a beautiful day. As we make our way further into spring, we find the days getting warmer and warmer and longer and longer. 
Tonight we will experience a colder 30. There is a chance of light showers today, so keep those umbrellas near. Tomorrow we will see a decent 43, followed by a steady decline to 40 on Thursday. Get ready, th get ready through because on Friday we will see a delightful 63. Then on Saturday we will get some great sunshine with a 56 degree day. Enjoy New Hampton, it only gets better. That brings us to an end of this edition of Inside NHS. Make sure to join us again for the latest news around Husky Nation, New Hampshire, and the world. Until then, have a great day.